Uh, got a question here. It's probably one of the best questions I think we've ever asked here on the show. We'll see. We'll see. Um, do you think people are going to continue to move to Texas from various states? Yes, next question. What areas do you think they're more likely going to move to? Mm, trickier question. Okay, let's go back to the first one. Do we think that, I, I think buried in this question is, do we think there's still going to be a massive influx of people moving to Texas from other states? Yeah, I mean, we just talked about on the first half of the show, right, that there's a lot of like celebrity people that are moving their businesses here, but yeah. there's also a ton of people Individuals, that are moving here families yeah. small businesses big businesses from ev- all over all over uh massive movements from uh you know coastal states um some of that's politically motivated some of that's economically motivated some of that is just cost of living some of that is access to other opportunities and and things like that um i very much think uh, if not more this year than last year, as people are really settling into their long-term job career expectations, um, as you know, some of the stragglers in the whole go work from home. What's what is our future policy going to be? Uh, are are finally kind of putting down their long-term deal where hey, you need to be in the office once a week. You don't have to be in the office ever again. That kind of stuff. Uh, so. I think there will be more momentum this year, even than last and certainly the year before and folks wanting to move to Texas um, for the reasons stated before taxes, cost of living, job opportunities, access to healthcare, lots of really positive reasons to move to the great state of Texas. So we're seeing huge growth in Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Austin, San Antonio, but we're also seeing massive population explosions in some of our small to mid-sized cities. Waco is blowing up. Tyler has gone crazy. Galveston's grown really big. Waxahachie. Uh, that's not one that was, was necessarily on the ra- radar of my conversation, but you're not wrong. We have a lot of people that are moving to DFW, wanting some ho- a home on some land, and really considering Waxahachie because their job's in Dallas-Fort Worth, but they don't have to come every day. So they're like, you know, I'll make that drive once or twice a week because I get more land, more space, more house, uh, and a more rural feel with certainly everything you need. Waxahachie's got everything you need, if not two or three of them. Well, I have family down there, and so they were telling me just like how big it's gotten in the past few years. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Andrew put a beautiful million-dollar home under contract just this week for a client that's super happy. Just couldn't be happier to be on the bubble on the exterior of the Metroplex, but with every resource to to live outside, but be able to access it also. How is this gonna work though? Because- (laughs) They came from YouTube too, that one. Because you think about it, like there's really no, there's really nowhere left that you can build in say Richardson. Very few places. Very few places, yeah. There's Plano, Allen, McKinney even. Like we have to start going further north and further out out east, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, is, is that just the direction this is going to go? We're just going to end up seeing, like, Dallas is no longer, like, the epicenter of DFW, yeah. but the epicenter is going to move way further north. Yeah, go to, go to TatramaniTeam.com and click on the videos tab uh, and then hunt down our video about um, Frisco is becoming the epicenter. Frisco is becoming the center. Um, the thousands of views on that one because people absolutely love it. But we go into length as to what some of the future, like, you know, literally professional forecasters, economic forecasters, population density forecasters that are believing that Frisco will soon be the center of the Metroplex. So DFW is what it's been called for years, right? Well, the Metropolitan Statistical Area is called Dal Worthington. It includes Arlington. Well, that's because years ago, Arlington was kind of the third biggest deal. Well, Frisco is exploding. McKinney's exploding. Garland's exploded. So now you're thinking all of that will be the southern half. So it'll be (laughs) DFFW? I don't know. Frisco, Fort Worthington? I don't know. Um, But you're talking about cities that if you lived in Dallas, used to feel way far away. Sherman, Melissa, Salina, you know. Oh, even places like Saxe... Oh, and yeah. Wiley, I mean, I remember we used to be we we used to live in Richardson. We moved up to Plano, and when we made that move, we briefly thought about going all the way out to Saxe Wiley area. 
Yep. But it was, you know, and that was 18, not that long ago. 18 minutes away. And yeah. it just felt like so far well, away. Well, we've talked about this before too. We're way off topic, but that's okay. Um, Rockwall, Rowlett, some of those places that for a lot of people didn't seem like um, the, the top of their list of places to look, which obviously have, have exploded. But for a lot of people, those seem really far away. And then when 190, George Bush was able to connect all the way from 75 Central all the way down to 30, it took people seemingly like 15 years to realize that it was unbelievably easy to get to and from Saxe, Wiley, Murphy, Parker, Lucas, Nevada, Rockwall, Rowlett, and, and everything in the, in the region because the highway finally connected, right? Um, so yeah, that we, we could point out areas all over the Metroplex that are like that. But the, the point of the question is, um, I don't know if they're right, but so far the trend is, yeah, that people used to move to Frisco to commute to Dallas. People now are moving to Sherman to commute to Frisco, right? It, it's becoming its own center, somewhat because of location, otherwise, you know, because of opportunity and, and development and, and things like that. 